Yo, here I'll do my best to deliver you all of the noteworthy free PC games this week. And a word from this video sponsor, my wife, with this uh, really important message. Do you really have to do this YouTube shit right now? You can't wait? It absolutely cannot wait, because Epic are giving away 3 juicy games for you to grab this week. Ghost Runner until April 18th, The Big Con and Town of Salem 2 right after. Ghost Runner offers a unique single player experience. It's fast paced, violent combat and a good blend of science fiction and post apocalyptic themes. If you also like to speedrun and no death games then you're in for a treat. I think this is also where the one hit one kill mechanics really shines at making the combat fast and intense. Give it a go if you haven't just yet. Next up we have the big con which is a very special. Now according to my YouTube analytics, a big chunk of you are under 26 years of age, which also means most of you experienced the 90s swimming around in your daddy's nutsack. And I think those who were around and walking in the 90s would really enjoy this bad boy. On the good scale, the game is about crime and stealing and has juicy art style, pretty good music and some interesting characters to tag along with. On the bad scales, the puzzles are rather simplistic, requiring minimum brain power to solve. And at the end of the day, it's kind of an entire game that basically glorifies the fetch quest. Listen in or talk to someone, go steal something that they want and shove it up there. I, I mean, uh, present it to them for uh, big money. The Big Con is currently sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam and I clearly have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Alongside the Big Con, you can also grab Town of Salem 2, which I know absolutely nothing about. From what I can read in the comment section, the community is so damn toxic it makes a certain German man look uh, polished. I guess um, that's what comes when it's free to play and voice chat activated. Plus it's full of microtransactions, like heavy microtransactions, and is most of all just a mobile game with a fresh coat of crap paint. I don't know, I just thought it was important for you to know. I've never really played any games in this genre. Well that's not true, I did play that one in space, um, you know, the, the space, I can't even remember the name. But it was a total of uh, one game. It could also be that the IQ of the lobby that I'm in is either non-existent or way over my head. It's uh, most likely the latter. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm mumbling, Town of Salem 2, use yours to claim starting April 18th. By the way, if you want to stay up to date on free games and get them served to you in this uh, quick and quirky setting, then do us both a favor and smash the subscribe button. Oh, and links to all of the games mentioned in this video are in the description and they take you straight to the deal, so no googling required. A quick heads up, the Throne and Liberty closed beta is now open and still taking signups, so if you have a good RNG in life and usually get chosen for keys, then head on in and then head on in. It'll give you an opportunity to take the next big MMORPG out for a spin and see if it's worth all of the hype. The closed beta should run for a week or so and give you a good taste of the game, but if you're interested you can check the link in the description for more information. Next, I want to get your eyeballs on Sky the Children of Light, which is a peaceful award winning MMO from the creators of Journey. Here you explore a beautifully animated kingdom across seven realms and create funky memories with other players, in what is fair to be described as a cozy puzzle adventure game. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that it's also one of those mobile games ported to PC with a coat of crappy paint sprinkled with a pinch of microtransactions. But uh, I could be wrong. To be fair, it's currently sitting in with very positive reviews on Steam, so if you're in the market for a cozy MMO with puzzles, then uh, look no further. Next up, we take a look at the official launch of Predecessor on all platforms. Predecessor is a fast paced action game that combines MOBA and FPS gameplay, putting you at the heart of the fight with the strategic choices, third person control and some pretty immersive action. To be fair, it's kinda giving me smite vibes and that's uh, not necessarily a bad thing. It is for sure worth placing in your digital library and taking it for a spin when you have nothing better to try. You can get either on Epic or Steam or anywhere else that you have your games. Next up, something simple yet uh, fun, Slapshot Rebound, a physics based multiplayer game where you play an arcade style match of hockey. 
There's no shoot button, no puck glue, no RNG, just the flip and slap. It's done really well and each lap feels just satisfying enough to make you smile. And who doesn't need a smile every now and then? And another quick mention to Frayed, which is a free survival horror game set in a rural, rural, rural farm in the early 20th century. You play as George, a farmer who wakes up in his tool shed with no memories of how he got there. Your task is to complete the, the ritual and end the curse. It's been a while since we've seen any free survival horror game, so I thought I might as well throw this bad boy in for those of you who like some of that. If you enjoy turning left, you can take Speedway Challenge 2024 out for a spin. It's currently free to play on Steam and it's fairly simplistic in its graphics, but the sense of speed comes over very well. Here you'll find a career mode, a league mode and various challenges. To be fair, it's one of the better turn left simulators I've played in 2024, but it's also the only one. Last but not least, we have something that I don't really know what is. It's something special, a Japanese salaryman out to save his boss. I'm, I'm not really sure what to say. Like, uh, try this demo if you want to trip into the farthest galaxies in space. For better or worse, uh, with big toads and mushroom men. You probably haven't played anything close to this this year, so I suggest you go and take Rat King Chapter Zero out for a spin. It seems to only be a prologue of some sort, but I think it's good to play this game in very small doses. Do -do doses. Listen, today you're getting a bit of a shorter video than, than usual. It's because I'm actually leaving on vacation in a few hours and why the wife was bitching in the beginning of the video. And you know how it is, I haven't really packed anything, but I mean there's still like 6 hours until the flight leaves. So by the time you watch this video, I'll most likely be sitting on a beach in Dubai and overpaying for accommodation, food and drinks. But you know what they say, happy wife, uh, happy life. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch my video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't, like it, why not? Thanks a lot for watching, I'm off packing, peace.